Howdy, guys, and welcome to Cliff Notes, and welcome to the Overnight Feed Recaps for night number 93 of Big Brother Season 25. It's Friday, yay, which means that we had an eviction yesterday. We've got a new HOH winner that those of you who watched the live episode knew who that was, and a little bit of a departure. We've already had nominations, and we're going to have a veto competition today, so we'll talk about that. We'll talk about the live feeds them, themselves. And I got to say, not as much going on with the live feeds. With this few people in the house, there's not a lot more strategy to play, be played at. Even the the big questions that may remain about who wants to take two, who to the final two, you don't get a lot of discussions about it because who are you going to talk about it with? The, the people that you're promising it to, the people that, that you don't plan to take, it just makes for a little bit slower night. But there were some conversations. We'll talk about all of those. So let's talk about the episode itself. We had as our eviction, Suri went home. Yeah, no surprise there. Suri played such a fantastic game in Survivor. Uh, Big Brother, I thought she had a fantastic social game. Uh, not the comp beast necessarily. Yeah, she didn't win any competitions and her, her time just ran out as it's happened on Survivor as well. So we lost Sari. Uh, we now have Felicia against the, the other three in the house is how it worked out. So the big question wasn't so much who was evicted, but who was going to win the, the follow-up HOH and not necessarily control what happens in the house. It's all about veto this week. But who was going to be the first person to punch their ticket into the final three? Well, as it turns out, the final HOH for Big Brother Season 25 is Bowie Jane. Yeah, Bowie Jane wins in yet another tiebreaker. Turned into a competition of her versus Jag at the end. Uh, Felicia just it wasn't her best night in terms of winning competitions. Uh, Bowie Jane wins it on a tiebreaker. And with that, she guarantees herself a spot in that final three. Now, the competition itself, for anyone who may have missed it, the uh, Chinbot comic that you see here, uh, drawn up by Tom Wynn, who is the same artist that drew up my BB comic, which is kind of cool. Uh, but it was a yet another. This is like the third competition of this sort where people look at a picture and then they have to comment on A, B, or C, true, false, etc., Third time we've had that kind of competition, which is a little bit surprised. I, I expected a little more variety uh, this season being kind of a retrospective of the last 25 seasons. Of, eh, we had a lot of this. Now, having said that, at least it was a, a fair competition in terms of Felicia having a chance uh, at, at winning this thing. She didn't pull it out. She she really didn't even come close. It was it was Jag and, and Bowie Jane all the way. Uh, but at least she had a, a shot at it. So Bowie Jane has won the uh, the the final HOH. As we mentioned before, it's not really about who wins this. It's going to be the veto winner that decides who goes home, who doesn't make it into the final three. But she's still excited as well that she's now going to, to be in there. All right, now I was a little bit surprised talking about the feeds themselves. I was a little bit surprised that the feeds came back on just within a few minutes of the, the episode finishing up on the East Coast Central time zone. Sometimes they wait till after the West Coast feeds uh, are over as well, or the West Coast steps up. Now, not this time. We got it immediately. I think the producers just figured there's nothing going on. So yeah, why not go ahead and turn on the feeds for the guys? So we did have the feeds just a little bit after uh, the show, the TV episode had finished up. And we see Jag telling Bowie Jane that she is now tied with Cameron for number of HOH wins with three HOH wins each. So she's pretty excited about that. Bowie is now saying that she needs to win the veto so that Blue won't hold the record for, for winning the, the most POVs amongst the women. She doesn't like the fact that Blue's going to hold that record. So she wants to go ahead and win that. So, so she has the record for POVs as well. Now, is she saying that because she wants to have to meet, uh, to beat, or at least tie Blue's record? Or is she saying it because she wants to maybe throw out a little seed to Matt that, hey, what if you let me win this veto? What if y'all just threw this thing to me so that Blue doesn't hold the record? So I tie her record, just throw me the veto. And if that happens, then what does Bowie Jane do? Does, does she uh, keep Matt and Jag or does she do something fancy? I don't know. I, I don't know, but I do know this. If I'm Matt, I'm not throwing the veto to anyone. 
Uh, same with Jack. Uh, I don't think anyone's throwing the veto to anyone uh, on this upcoming veto competition. All right, Felicia. At one point, she said she wasn't going to cook for anyone else. Well, now that's that's changed. Felicia's decided to go ahead and fix mac and cheese and fried chicken. And of course, everyone is on board to uh, to have her cook dinner for them. Of course they are. All right, we've got uh, Felicia goes to change clothes for a little bit. And while she's gone, Matt and Bowie and Jag are talking about being final three. And that the uh, uh, that now the veto competition coming up is the only thing that's standing in their way of being a final three. The possibility of Felicia winning uh, the veto is the only thing, the only roadblock that they still have to worry them about to final three. Theoretically, if everyone's on board and saying what the, what they're supposed to be saying, which I think is true. I don't know 100 percent is true, but they're saying that yeah, we just win the veto. make sure Felicia doesn't win the veto. And we're golden, uh, golden going forward. All right, there's talk about getting videos from home. Uh, uh, we heard that they are going to get videos. It sounds like it's going to be after the final four eviction. So it'll be during final three, which means if Felicia goes home, she won't get to see her home videos. But uh, but everyone else is going to get it a little bit later on uh, in this upcoming week. All right, we've got Matt talking about Sari going home. Matt's thinking that the jury house is going to flip when they see Sari, that they're going to be surprised uh, that, that she made it to the jury house. Uh, Bowie Jane is thinking that they're that they're all a jury at that point in time is probably going to decide, well, if Sari's not there, we're all going to vote for Felicia if she makes it to the final two. Bowie Jane may be making sure that Felicia remains a target, that Matt and Jag don't do something fancy and maybe decide to keep Felicia and send the other one out the door. Not sure. Uh, maybe she's just the one out there, but she she certainly is thinking at this point in time or, or stating that her belief that Felicia, if Felicia was to stick around uh, and and make it into a final two, that, that the jury would all vote for her uh, instead. Uh, they're excited that ha with this last HOH, it was a booth type competition. So they're thinking there's no way that the veto competition will be a booth type as well. And I think they're probably right on that. Jag is hoping it's going to be a very physical competition. Just as a bit of a reminder, during my season, this video competition was called Win It and You're In It. Involved firing slingshots at giant targets. It was a huge setup. God, I had to compete at one o'clock in the afternoon. Brutally hot out there. It was, it was a miserable uh, experience trying to do that thing. Uh, we'll see if they have something that physical or if it's going to be slightly different uh, this season. Uh, they're talking about the three of them being such great team players because they've been cycling through the comps, taking turns winning and how well uh, that has worked out for them. I got to say, love them or hate them. Uh, they, they have done a good job of getting out the big competition threats earlier in the season. It's made it a lot easier for them to, to cycle through as they're talking about. All right. We've got Bowie and, uh, Bowie Jane and Matt in the bathroom, uh, talking. Matt is talking about how cool it is that neither one of them have been on the block, uh, this season. I think Bowie Jane wants to change that as you'll see with the, the upcoming conversations, but for now, Neither one of them has been on the block all season long. Matt's pretty proud of it. I know Boy Jane's proud of it as well. All right, we now have Jag and Boy Jane in the bathroom. Uh, Boy Jane, uh, being the decisive person that she's been all season, is saying she doesn't want to be the one that has to decide who goes up alongside Felicia. She wants Felicia on the block. That, that's no question. But she doesn't want to be the person who has to decide between Matt and Jack. She wants them to figure it out or something because she doesn't want to have to make that kind of decision. Uh, she's also mentioning the fact that she doesn't want to necessarily break Matt's record of not having been on the block, but that if Jag was to go up instead, that would be his fourth time on the block. She doesn't necessarily want Jag to have to have had four times on the block. So she's just not sure what to do. Now, earlier, Felicia had told Boe Jane, that she could just put up the two guys. Or maybe she told Jack that. I don't know. I think maybe she told Jack that. But anyway, Felicia had mentioned the idea that, hey, you could just put the two guys up. It doesn't really matter uh, anyway. So just put the two guys up. But Bowie Jane doesn't want to do that because she's worried that there could be some kind of twist that maybe she wouldn't have the the power. The veto holder wouldn't have the power to change her. She's, she doesn't want to take any chances. So she's uh, she's not willing to do that. Now, I got to say, from a from a jury management standpoint, it seems to me, as everyone points out repeatedly, it's about veto. It's not about HOH. If I'm Bowie Jane, 
there's something to be said for approaching Felicia and saying, look, I, I know it's not much because it is the veto that makes a difference, but I just want to extend to you the idea that I'm not going to put you up. So at least you don't have to say you're on the block this final week. Uh, now, you know, veto may change it all, but for right now, I'm not putting you on the block, just doing what little I can to be kind and all that. She could, she could do something like that. She doesn't. Okay, of course she doesn't. Uh, but it would have made maybe a bit of a difference in jury management. All right, we've got uh, so Bowie Jane saying she doesn't want to have to be the one to decide. Uh, Felicia, yeah, and then Felicia had said that put the two of them up, but she doesn't doesn't do it. Uh, and, and again, I, I just don't understand why maybe she doesn't put the two of them up uh, as well. All right, Jack has mentioned that the nominations are tonight, so they're starting to get the schedules. A screen flashed up in the living room saying nominations today. I guess they don't have one that says tonight. Nominations today, so they know it's going to take place pretty quickly. And Jag is suggesting to Boy Jane, saying, you know, if you really don't want to do it, we could draw numbers uh, and do something. And maybe you could tell me what number you're going to pick ahead of time. So they've already decided to rig the system. Uh, so Matt's going to think that they're picking numbers, but they've already got it figured out. Uh, so, so the idea and Bowie Jane, as much as she said, she didn't want Matt to have to end his record. I think Bowie Jane wants to be the only person going into a jury pitch saying that she is never on the block. Last thing she wants is to be on, uh, on in a fine two chair against Matt, for example, and both of them arguing the same point. So I think she's just fine making sure that Matt's record ends right here and that hers lasts just a little bit longer. So she's agreed with Jag that they're going to rig this number picking uh, competition. All right. Meanwhile, while they're talking about that, Felicia's in the kitchen talking to Matt and she's, she's mentioning, she's kind of poking a little bit. She said, you know, Matt, uh, Jag and Boy Jane sure are sitting in the bathroom talking for a long time, aren't they? And Matt's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she says, you know, you know what it is. It's Jag giving uh, Boy Jane all of the strategy. He's telling her what she needs to do. He's outlining the strategy for Boy Jane. You know, the two of them are in there talking together and, and not you. Just keep that in mind, Matt. Uh, Felicia's in trouble, but she's doing what, what she can to maybe stir things up as you should do fight until the very end in this game. All right. We finally have Jag and Bowie Jane bring Matt into the bathroom. Say, look, we got to figure out, we let's settle on what we're going to do in terms of, of who goes on the block. They're spending a lot of time worrying about this when it's just not that big a deal, but they're talking about it. Matt is saying, you know, I don't really care. Whatever you do, it, it is the veto. If, if you want to put me up, I'll, I'll do it, whatever. But eventually they do end up picking numbers. And sure enough, Bowie Jane says 70, Matt says uh, 77, which was pretty close guess in, in a uh, in a fair number picking. You probably would have won it, but Jag says 73. Uh, so Jag has won it. And uh, so the impression is that it's going to be Matt going on the block upside to Felicia. That is funny. While they're talking about it, uh, Matt kind of points out, says, you know, unless y'all rigged this before I came in. Now, he said it a little jokingly and all that. I'm not sure if he suspects it and he just said it like that because it's not worth getting everyone upset with, or he just was just throwing it out there. It, it doesn't matter because uh sounds like that's going to be the case is, is Matt going up on the block uh, as well. Uh, Matt does suggest or mention that Felicia had suggested uh, that if Jag was to win the veto, that he's going to send Matt home and keep Felicia. And of course, Jag's like, yeah, yeah no, it ain't going to happen, Matt. I am curious to see if Matt and Jag stay true to the bromance at final three. If it's if it's Matt and Jag and Bowie Jane, uh, are they going to take each other or are they scared enough of each other that they're going to drag along Bowie Jane instead? Now, we saw a jury house segment where I think it was Corey that said they both think they can beat the other one, so they aren't going to be afraid to take each other. I'm not sure I necessarily agree with that. I think they're both a little bit worried about the other one. And perhaps, certainly, I could see Jag taking Bowie Jane over Matt. Matt, maybe not so much. I could see Matt taking uh, taking Jag. But there is some uncertainty, some question about who the final two could be out of the final three. But is there a possibility that one of these three would actually end up taking uh, Felicia instead and throwing Matt or throwing Jag under, under the bridge instead, leaving one of them behind? I don't think that's nearly as likely. Talk about creating a little chaos in the last week. Yeah, that certainly would be a blind side to end all blind sides. 
I'm not sure I see that kind of flip taking place at a final four. Final three, we'll see what happens, but we'll watch and, and find out over the next 24 hours. Well, no, not even that much now. All right, we've got Bowie Jane talking <clears throat> about how bad Felicia wants Jag out. That Felicia, that's who her target is. She wants Jag out the door. Uh, Bowie Jane's telling Jag that if Felicia wins veto, that's it for Jag's game. He's gone. And, and I think that's probably true. Uh, Bowie is mentioning that the competition, the veto competition is supposed to be at 7 o'clock a.m. today, Friday morning. Uh, I actually held off recording this because I was thinking maybe they're going to have a very early competition and I could report the results. Sat around for a little while, realized now nah, it's not going to be at 7 o'clock a.m. this morning. It's sometime today, but not 7 a.m. because uh, they're still not up. Uh, so anyway, but she does mention the comps are going to be at 7 a.m. today. Bowie's talking to Matt. Uh, she's telling Matt that she feels bad nominating him, uh, ending his streak, so to speak, she says. But on the other hand, you're only going to be on the block for 12 hours. And then uh, we'll have the veto competition and you're going to be safe. And Matt's saying, yeah, it's fine. It, it doesn't matter anyway. And and she points out to him, says, that's right. It, it doesn't matter. And uh, it's all about the veto. So you know, appreciate it. And Matt keeps trying to say, yeah, I volunteered for it. It's not on you. I, I volunteered for it. it it's fine. All right, we've got Jag coming in saying that he just talked to Felicia, that she they're in the scary bedroom when this happens. He comes in, tells uh, tells Matt and Bowie Jane, says, I just talked to Felicia. She's basically acknowledged that, that she's the fourth wheel. She knows she's the fourth wheel in the house. The, the, the analogy, right? Third wheel, I understand. Fourth wheel, sometimes you need a fourth wheel. But no, nah, he's saying she understands that she's, She's fourth in the house and, and she understands the relationship, the way it's happening. Uh, Bowie says that she doesn't want Felicia in the final three, that she wants to prove to the jury uh, that she can win. And I think uh, she wants to win the veto and force uh, Felicia to stay on the block and all of that uh, to prove to the jury again that she can win. I, I, I firmly believe the jury is not going to give Bowie Jane credit for these last few victories i just don't think they will part of it is that the some of the jury hasn't been in the house to see those victories so you don't see it firsthand and you give them less credit if bowie jane makes it to the final two chairs if bowie jane wins this season it's not going to be because she won a few hohs at the end or because she won this final veto that's not going to be what it is if bowie jane wins it's not going to have anything to do with what she did. It's going to have to do with a bitter jury that does not want to give the award to, to uh, Jag or Matt. And that's my personal opinion, my firm belief that Bowie Jane isn't going to win this based on, on her resume. It's going to be people just upset with the, whoever else is in the chair next to her. Uh, we'll, we'll find out. Oh, maybe we will. Maybe we won't. All right, the house guests are... Seems like they're understanding the schedule now. I guess the words come down or they're figuring out that the veto competition is going to be today, Friday. The eviction uh, will be tomorrow night. Uh, I don't know if they know it's going to be live broadcast on, but the eviction is going to be tomorrow night, Sunday, uh, instead of next Thursday. Everyone's happy with that. Uh, Jag saying, I wish we could have done the whole season like this. Just speed it up. Let's get it taken care of. Uh, let's move on. All right, Felicia's fixing some really good-looking macaroni and cheese. So good, I almost use it as my background pick. It looked pretty good. Uh, all I can think of, though, is that this would be the perfect time uh, for Felicia maybe to, to load up the other three house guests with all kinds of heavy creams, heavy food, things that are just going to sit on their tummies and, and maybe slow them down just a little bit with whatever competition is, is getting ready to take place we had that a few seasons back when when jc talked about a cuban sandwich that he just loaded up with all kinds of carbs and calories and everything else to try to slow down his uh other house guests felicia could have done the same thing and maybe she did with that macaroni and cheese because it it was loaded up with creams and such but uh yeah it, it would be a perfect opportunity for her to to create whatever advantages she could all right we had the feeds down for the nominations uh, they were turned out just a little before 11 o'clock Big Brother time. Nominated uh, at this point in time are Felicia, no surprise, and Matt. And really no surprise th there as well. Uh, both of them are expected. Matt volunteered. Bowie Jane didn't want him to have her, the same record of her, never been on the block. Matt talks a little bit later saying, yeah, it's kind of weird seeing my face up there uh, on the memory wall as one of the nominations. 
I was nominated six times. I got you seeing my face up there, but it is weird every time you see it pop up. Uh, Jag is mentioning saying, look, our, our lives are on the line if we don't win the veto. Specifically, Jag's life is on the line. Uh, but he's saying it's uh, we got to win this thing. We absolutely have to do it. Now, they are happy that HOH was two versus one since Matt couldn't compete. But they're realizing now yeah, it's going to be three of us versus Felicia's one of as long as one of the three of us win it. Uh, we're good to go. Uh, and then Jack says this is going to be the mafia taking its final shot uh, of the season. All right. Bowie Jane is saying that she isn't going to sleep in the HOH room. She wants to stay down in the scary bedroom instead. I think that's smart. I, I think that's a fantastic idea. She does not want Jag and Matt hanging out, talking too much. I mean, she and Jag have been doing that already while Matt's up in the HOH room. She's not going to allow the same thing to happen. She's going to sleep down in the scary bedroom with the two of them. Uh, and I think that's uh, that's what she needs to be doing at this point in time. Now, let's talk again about some jury management and opportunities that may present themselves. If uh, if Bowie Jane's going to sleep down in the, the scary bedroom, no one's going to sleep in the, up in the HOH room. Why doesn't Bowie Jane approach Felicia and say, look, I'm staying down here. Why don't you go take the HOH room? Enjoy, you know, the last couple of days here. Yeah, There's no hidden agenda at this point in time, hidden strategy. Just say, obviously, you know that, you know, that, that you're probably going to be the target uh, this, this coming up eviction. And, you know, well, a few days left. Why don't you go enjoy the HOH room, your own bathroom, shower and everything? Just be nice. Just tell her you can have it because no one else is going to use it. Uh, why don't you take it, Felicia? It'll be fine. Uh, but to do that would require that, that you uh, that you actually need to be nice to Felicia and treat Felicia like a person. And boy, boy, Jane isn't going to do that, right? <laughs> No, of course not. I I don't think. Yeah, she she just has it out for Felicia. I think she wants to make her life as miserable as possible. Certainly seems like that like that based on how everyone is talking at this point in time. It would be a nice thing to do. Let her have the room for the last couple of days, but it has not happened uh, so far. All right, Bowie is saying that she was laughing during the nominations, but she doesn't care. It's her H O H, and if she wants to giggle during the nominations, then by God, she's gonna she's gonna do it. You know, I, I can you tell who I don't want to win uh, if this final three uh, based on who gets the final chairs, which one of the three maybe I'm going to be not so actively cheering for uh, in terms of the final jury vote. Yeah, I just think that I just think it's unnecessary. Yeah. Yes, it's your HOH. Yes, you can giggle. You can make light of it uh, and everything else because you're safe and it doesn't affect you necessarily. But there are real people playing this game whose games are on the line, who are feeling horrible and treat it with a little bit of respect. Just my little soapbox for the day. All right. Bowie did get her HOH basket. She got a uh, a letter from from her friend uh, as well. So so we didn't get to see it. We just heard about it a little bit later. All right. We've got Felicia and Jag talking. Uh, they're talking about what kind of competition this veto is going to be. And uh, Jag saying, oh, I want it to be super physical. Felicia not thinking she wants it to be quite that physical. Uh, but he's saying that. Felicia's saying that, that she really needs to win this veto. And Jag's saying, yeah, I need to win it as well. Uh, we both need to win this thing. Uh, Felicia is warning Jag, telling Jag, saying, look, you need to think about, think hard about who you're going to take to to the final three. In other words, you know, why wouldn't you take little old me who can't win anything, Jag? There's something to that strategy. I know the three are tight, mafia and all that stuff, but you got to think that you would have a decent chance beating Felicia in, in these three-part finals, right? Uh, and as long as Felicia doesn't come out on top of that, you could always drag Bowie Jane or, or Matt uh, with you as opposed to Felicia if you're worried about jury votes. But it certainly seems like having Felicia in the mix makes it that much easier for you to potentially win that three-part HOH competition. So I think there's something to be said for what Felicia is saying. I don't think it's going to work at this point in time, but but I understand what she's saying, and, and maybe someone ought to be thinking about that just a little bit. Uh, but she does mention that to Jag. We've got Jag and Matt and Bowie Jane talking. Jag's complaining about all the uh, the the BS that Felicia has said and done to them throughout the season. He's just tired of it. He's saying he wants to be the one to take the final shot uh, at Felicia that uh, he, he wants to be the one that, that makes to make that call. Bowie Jane is upset that there's no way that she's going to get to vote, uh, this, this week. So she's not going to be able to vote out a uh, Felicia. 
again, they're just taking it so personal when I just don't see why you need to. But uh, they they are talking about that. But Bowie Jane is super pumped that if she wins the veto, she can play a role in keeping Felicia on the block. So she'll play a role in, in Felicia going home as well, even if she doesn't get to vote. All right, we've got Jag talking about Felicia, uh, saying that Felicia was asking what my path was and that it might not be smart to, to try to sit next to Matt at the very end. Jag is saying I, he wants to tell Felicia that, that he's chosen his path and his path is, is evicting Felicia. So there. All right. Uh, Bowie Jane is thinking that Felicia is going to be a little upset, a little irritated uh, that she's sleeping uh, downstairs, that F Bowie Jane is sleeping downstairs in the scary room uh, instead of upstairs. Again, just offer it to Felicia. It doesn't hurt you. You're not using it anyway. And you never know if that vote could make a difference. All right. Bowie Jane at one point is heading to the bathroom and Jag's following uh, behind her about four seconds or so behind her. Uh, Felicia had pointed this out at one point earlier, but yeah, Jag is following him, uh, Bowie Jane into the bathroom. Uh, so they're doing that. Now Felicia says, is telling them as they walk by that she put the macaroni and cheese uh, in the fridge because uh, they had way too much so they can have the rest later. If I'm Felicia, come Sunday, come Sunday afternoon, I'm cleaning out the fridge. She's cleaned out the fridges a few times before. Right before I head out the door, I'm cleaning out the fridge. I am throwing over, uh, throwing out every single leftover I find in there. I'm going to make sure they're eating bologna and cheese for the rest of the time they're, they're in the house. I'll let Matt fix the quesadillas because I would not be letting them have any of my uh, my leftover food as I walked out the door. Uh, that's what I'd be doing. Uh, the, the petty side of me coming out as well. Uh, but it would be fun, uh, fun thinking about. All right, in the bathroom, Jag is telling Bowie Jane that, that Felicia suggested that maybe you ought to consider a final three of of me, Jag, uh, and Matt, and Felicia. And Boy Jane said, well, what about me? Well, you know what that means for you, Boy Jane. And she does not like hearing hearing that. The Felicia's trying to pitch that maybe Boy Jane's the one that needs to be. Of course, Boy Jane's HOH. She's, she's final three anyway. So she's not going anywhere, right? Uh, so I'm, I'm not sure where the disconnect was uh, with that. But she's not happy to hear that Felicia's proposing that maybe Bowie Jane doesn't need to be making it. Uh, she's in file three, but maybe not make it into the final two. All right, we've got Jag is in the diary room while he's there. Bowie and uh, Jane and Matt are talking. Bowie's telling Matt that she she's ready to party sa Sunday night once it's just the three of them, once Felicia's evicted. She says, then we're going to have a big old party. That's going to be fantastic. Uh, she doesn't want to wait that long with the wine, though. She's saying, maybe let's wait. Uh, and drink the wine. They don't want to drink it tonight because they've got Vito coming up. But she's saying tomorrow night after Felicia's in bed, uh, then let's all get together and, and we'll drink the wine. She said, let's not eat anything. So the, the wine has more of an effect as well. Let's drink the wine, but make sure it's after Felicia goes to bed so so we don't have to, to share with her. Uh, Bowie Jane is telling Matt at one point how happy uh, Riley would be for them that they're making it to the final three like this. Uh, Bowie is saying that if Felicia loses tomorrow, uh, she'll never get the chance to use all the, the stuff that she memorized for a potential competition. And, and she's kind of complaining, saying, oh, Felicia thinks she's so good at memorizing things, but she's no better than the rest of us at memorizing this stuff. It's, it's She's not better than us uh, w with the memorization stuff, but she's feeling like Felicia feels very comfortable uh, with, with her memorization skills. All right, we've got Felicia in bed. Uh, talking to the cameras for just a little bit, saying that God showed her in a dream that she'll be in one of the, the final two chairs. And she's actually thinking about when she wins, not if, when she wins this veto today uh, and goes forward and then gets the opportunity to decide who she wants to take uh, to the final two. So in other words, uh, well, I guess either today with her veto or as part of final two, but she's wondering if she should keep uh, Matt or Jack, I guess at, after winning today's veto, she's wondering if she could keep Matt or Jag and which one she would cast aside uh, once she has that power. So she's she's ready. She's she's uh, she's manifesting uh, a veto win uh, is what she's doing here. So we'll find out. I'm kind of cheering for you, Felicia. I'd love to see you win this thing and shake things up a little bit. We'll see what kind of competition it is. All right. With that, everyone in bed by one o'clock or so. Big brother time, three o'clock Houston time. Uh, we'll see. Again, I kind of waited to record this thinking they were going to be up super bright and early to do the veto competition. Wasn't the case. They're, they're still in bed. I'm sure it'll take place fairly early today. 
Not sure when the veto ceremony will take place, either this evening, maybe tomorrow morning. It's all compressed time-wise, but we'll find out. Uh, but we will have the veto competition. And once we know that, uh, we'll, we'll start seeing how this thing's going to work out for tomorrow night. All right, guys, enjoy your Friday. Enjoy the end of the work week. I will be back tomorrow morning to give you an update on veto winners, veto ceremony perhaps as well. And we'll talk about what's going to happen tomorrow night at the eviction ceremony. But until then, guys, SKD 143. Cheers, my friends. Bye.